Welcome back. In our previous section of Think Create Code, we found out a bit about processing. We learned that processing is a programming language that focuses on visualizing data and on creating graphics. A programming language is a language that a computer can understand. We use these languages to provide instructions for the computer to follow. In processing, these instructions are used to write programs to create animations, images, and interactions. In the previous section, we looked at the coordinate system that processing uses. We also learned how to draw basic shapes such as line, rectangles, and circles. In this section, we'll explore these concepts further. We'll find out how to draw more than one shape on the canvas and how to use color when drawing. We'll also learn about the importance of ordering the processing instructions and about how to organize our work using algorithms. Let's begin. An algorithm is a sequence of steps that a program does in order to achieve a task. These steps are very similar to the steps that we take in everyday lives, such as when following a recipe or when following drawing instructions. For example, getting to my co favorite coffee place involves walking for 500 meters on North Terrace, then turning right on Pulteney Street, and then taking the first left on Rundle Street. For a processing program, steps like these are expressed using a sequence of instructions, such as for drawing a number of lines to form a complex shape. Let's say we want to write a program that draws two rectangles. The algorithm for this is a sequence of two instructions, one for drawing the first rectangle and one for drawing the second rectangle. Before writing these, though, we will need to do some additional work. The first thing that we need to do is determine whether the rectangles will be placed on the screen and what their sizes will be. Say we want them in the opposite corners of the canvas, so top left and bottom right. To achieve this, we will need to establish the coordinates for each rectangle, that is, for the rectangle that we'll place in the top left of the canvas and the rectangle that we'll place in the bottom right of the canvas. If we remember the processing coordinate system, the top left of the canvas will mean small values of x and y, such as, let's say, x equals to 10 and y equals to 20. In contrast, the bottom right of the canvas will mean large values of x and y, such as 100 and 100. For this example, we assume that our canvas has a size of 150 pixels by 150 pixels. To keep things simple, we decide to make the rectangles have the same size, say width 40 and height 10. The next step is to draw the first rectangle. Towards this, we'll use the rect instruction, giving it the coordinates as the top left coordinates that we had decided on, that is 10 and 20, and a width of 40 and a height of 10. After giving processing the instruction to draw the first rectangle, we'll tell it to draw the second rectangle using another rect instruction. This time, we'll give it the bottom right coordinates that we have decided on, that is 100 and 100, and the width of 40 and height of 10 as before. So this was it, your first more complicated processing program. 